I've conducted the Rachmaninoff Symphonic Dancers many times. It's a piece I love. I think it's his masterpiece, if I can say that. I think it's the last thing he ever wrote. It's full of intricate detail and I suppose the challenge is to play what's on the page faithfully. Every time I do it, I try to get closer to what he wrote. And sometimes that means not taking the easy route, but really, really, you know, grafting to, 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 to get it to sound as, as he intended. And when I was a kid, I had the old Eugene <coughs> Ormond DLP of it, which I still think is my favorite recording. And it, his approach has definitely influenced me in that it's, I've heard it so many times and it's, it's part of it. I think it's very faithful to what, what's on the page. Yes, I always love having the composer in the room because you have any queries, you get an immediate answer. And certain composers are very, very specific about they want and others give you a slightly freer hand. But Sally wrote these songs, I think about 15 years ago, and she's orchestrated them for this concert. And we've had conversations about balance and this, that and the other, and will this work, will that work? And nobody knows yet because we haven't played them. But they're beautifully written and they're slightly reconceived from the piano to the orchestra version. And so it, 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 on the page, they look like the perfect fit. They're beautifully dressed. And of course, to get Roddy to sing them is a dream because he's such a, a great musician and he understands exactly what goes on when you take songs, orchestrate them from piano to orchestra, as he's done that himself. You know, he's a very gifted arranger. I think one of the things I find most alluring about English music is that deep romanticism with a sort of self-restraint. So composers like Walton, John Ireland, Delius, they don't put all of their cards on the table. There is always a kind of veneer of sort of emotional restraint, but under the surface, it's seething. I think, you know, even in the short overture by William Walton Scapino, which is basically a lively opener, it has a central middle section, which is full of ardor and, and real, real passion. Bring the arts home with Marquee TV.